Hey y'all, I'm Ricky T and I'm here sitting on my balcony here at the Taylor Plantation in beautiful, beautiful Beach Grove, Indiana. Today is March the 1st, 2023 and dudes, it is crazy, absolutely crazy. March the 1st and it's 70 degrees outside. So, I don't know what's up. I don't know if there's a little bit of, you know, weather warfare crap going on. Somebody's doing something that's not normal, but it's 70 degrees on March the 1st. So, you know, I'm going to be out on the balcony and today I'm going to do for you a cigar review. I got a cigar here for you that I'm going to show you again in a moment. Now, y'all have probably heard me talk about the Macanudo Cafe Hyde Park cigar being one of the most popular cigars in America maybe in the world. And the reason why is it is a light cigar, light in strength. So it's a very good cigar for a beginner or a person who doesn't smoke cigars very often. Um, I've always said the uh, Macanudo Cafe Hyde Park and the CAO Gold are my two favorite, um, you know, high quality premium beginner cigars. You know, as I have friends who are wanting to get into cigars, those are the two I recommend. But what makes those two cigars and the Macanudo in particular so popular is not only is it light in strength, but unlike most light cigars, it does have flavor. It's got some pretty good flavor to it. So you got a light in strength cigar with some good flavor. So I've smoked many, many, many of those. I love having them in the humidor um, as a diversion. You know me, I like my medium. Uh, to, to, to bold cigars. I like my Maduro wrappers, but that Macanudo is a very nice uh, diversion. So as I'm online and I order those and I see them online, I have seen also there's a Macanudo Cafe Park Maduro. I'm like, whoa, that's interesting because I already like the Macanudo Cafe Hyde Park but Maduro is my favorite, so you put the two together. I had never bought one, but now I have. Here it is. Look at that over here so you can see it. Look at that. Nice dark wrapper. Pretty wrapper. There it is. I'm looking at it. It looks like it's got some good construction. I'm pretty excited. I'm seeing some toothiness up, up around here, up around the beginning of the final third, which means flavor, probably. Uh, so I don't think I've ever, I've got, I bought five of these. I don't think I've smoked one yet. So I'm really looking forward to this. So what I'm going to do is I've already cut it. I'm going to give you my initial aroma. Uh, I'm on the pre-light. I'm going to light it and then I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to smoke it for a good long time. Instead of coming back two, three, four times with intermental updates on the flavor, I'm just going to save it all and give you the full report all at once at the end. And we'll see what we got. So, here we go. On the pre-lit aroma, it's pretty light. Uh, it, nothing is really popping out. But what initially, the main thing I'm getting is some light cocoa. Like a light, um, like, you know, like the Hershey's um, cocoa powder that, you know, mom used to use to make hot chocolate you know, the, 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 the cocoa powder. And maybe, I may be getting a little bit of something floral, which is interesting, chocolate and floral. It's, but it's not really, again, it's nothing's popping out, but that chocolate powder is the main thing I'm getting. So let's fire this up. Let me take a puff or two. I'll get out of here and then I'll come back with a full report. I'm initially getting a good draw, close to perfect, not perfect, but close to perfect.
I don't like to get too excited or too disappointed in the first three, four, five puffs because you're just getting that initial burn going. So I'm going to change my mind a little bit. The um, after several puffs, as you can see, I'm getting a decent um, getting a decent amount of smoke coming out. Not crazy, but a decent amount. Okay, just pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. After a few puffs, um, and the dog's probably getting ready to bark because there's a car right here. After a few puffs, should we knock it off? After a few puffs, the um, it's a little tight. The draw's a little tight. Um, not bad, not bad at all. I say close to perfect, but I'm gonna say slightly tight. Nothing so far that's got me worried. They tend to loosen up as you go anyway. So, as far as flavor profiles, um, let's see. really light really light maybe a little bit of that floral I was telling you about and just a hint of citrus a little bit of floral and a hint of citrus but so far the flavor is extremely light it's a maduro so it should be sweet but on the back end i'm getting a little bit of bitter i'm gonna do one more then i'm gonna let you go then i'll come back later Yeah, nothing, nothing has changed. Just very, very, it's very light so far. Um, with this possible citrus and floral, um, which is odd for the cigars I smoke. So let's see how this son of a gun develops. Um, I'm left-handed. One thing I was going to say real quick: I'm left-handed in a right-hander's world, taught by right-handers how to do everything. So I tend. When I light a cigar, it's a, a lot of times it'll start out not super even because I'm using my left hand to light a cigar like a right-hander would. So you can see it's, see right there compared to there. That's my fault. It always, I always start them out like that. I always start them out a little crooked. We'll see, we'll see what happens. A good cigar will fix that on its own without me having to touch it. And if I do have to touch it a little bit, not the cigar's fault that I'm a lefty in a right-hander's world. But let's uh, see how this develops, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, y'all, I'm back with a full report. Um, pretty close to the band at this point, so I'll give you a full report at this point. So let's talk about construction first. As you will recall at the beginning, uh, I told you that it was slight, the draw was slightly tight, uh, and but typically as it heats up and as you smoke, um, that loosens. The good news is that happened. It loosened up to what I would call a nearly perfect draw. And so as a consequence of that, it also uh, started to create a little more smoke. And as you can see, I'm getting a little bit more smoke output than I was at the beginning. So that's good, that's good, that's good news. You also will recall that I had told you that I have a bad habit of, since I'm a left-hander in a right-hander's world, I have a bad habit of lighting cigars whereby a lot of times they will have an initial slight not perfect uh burn at the beginning and that the sign of a good cigar is it will fix itself otherwise i will have to uh fix it right 
So, as you can see, it fit. I never touched. I never touched it up, and that's pretty damn razor edge tight. So here I'm gonna hit that. So it did fix itself. So from a construction perspective, I would say this is a greatly constructed cigar. Very high quality construction. Um, so, so that's all good news. Now, flavors. I was, I, at the beginning I told you I was having a hard time picking up a lot of flavor. Very light. Uh, what, what flavor notes there were were very light. And there was, you might have seen like a little bit of confusion on my face. There was a flavor note, ever so light, that I was trying to figure out, which eventually I concluded was a nutty flavor note. And I may not have the most um, sensitive palate in the world um, uh, for whatever reason. That nutty flavor always kind of tricks me a little bit. And it's also not necessarily my, excuse me, my favorite flavor. But that was what kind of started to develop. But it was still very light. Um, so I had that very light, nutty flavor. That original floral and that original citrus note that I told you that was very light pretty quickly went away. The nutty, while light, became the predominant flavor note. And then there would be other little notes here and there that would come and go. Uh, got a little bit of leather in that first into the second third. Uh, was getting a little bit of earth here and there. Um, I, I really like the earthy flavor note. I wish it would have been more predominant. The biggest bad news is in that first third, I was also getting a bitterness. The bitterness was absolutely on the back end and it was lingering on my palate. The bitterness, the bitterness was to a degree that I did go downstairs and I got myself a bourbon. I needed something to clear my palate every so often because that bitterness was there. Now, as a side note, this is um, Bullet Bourbon. It's one of my favorite, I would say top five everyday bourbons. Again, as a side note, uh, you, can get, you can get this Bullet for under 30 bucks a bottle, maybe 25 to $28 a bottle, depending on where you get it. Uh, you can get a handle of this stuff for $44 at Total Wine. So if, if you're getting into bourbon, especially if you're new, highly recommend Bullet. It, again, it's one of my top five favorite everyday um, lower cost bourbons. And I needed it to kind of clear my palate. Now, some good news is by the time I got to the end of the first third, that bitterness went away, which is great. Now the bad news is the bitterness in that first third was to a, to a level that it lingered on my palate for about 10 to maybe up to 15 minutes after I was no longer getting it in the smoke, which is disappointing. Uh, once that bitterness was cleared out of my palate, the cigar started to get a little bit better. Uh, as I entered into the third and final third, the earth note came back and was a little stronger and became the predominant, still, still, still not boom flavor, like boom, it doesn't pop out and get you, but the earthiness was the predominant um, flavor note. Um, I was also continuing to get the other little flavor notes that I already mentioned here and there. I even for a minute got a very slight powder chocolate note. As I had mentioned on the pre-light, I was getting a little bit of cocoa uh, on the pre-light aroma. Got a little bit of that um, for just a minute or two as I was near the end of the second third into the final third. The final third started out really the best third of the entire cigar uh, because for my own personal preference, that earthiness was kicking in. But then just within the last 
few minutes. And as you can see, I'm pretty much at the band now. As I was hitting that final third, the bitterness started to come back. So I'm like, well, I'm pretty close to the end and the bitterness is coming back. It's time to give my thoughts and end this thing. A couple of other notes I will, I will give you on the cigar is I'm 53 years old and this cigar blend is probably as old as me. This cigar has been around forever. And if you think about it, back in the 70s and 80s, people, what people wanted, what people liked in a cigar is a lot different than today. Today, it seems like people like bolder flavors and medium to stronger cigars. Back in those days, people tended to like smaller cigars with lighter flavor notes. So I would say for when this was originally blended, it was probably like the thing because it was exactly what people wanted back in those days. I would say it has stood the test of time because it's still not a bad cigar, but it's not exactly what people are looking for, you know, today in the 21st century. See, there's a little bit of bitterness there. So overall, I will say I'm a bit disappointed but I will say the majority of my disappointment comes in the fact that I had very high expectations for this cigar because I know the regular Cafe Hyde Park is a great cigar and then you make it in Maduro, it's only gonna be even better. It wasn't. I like the regular Cafe Hyde Park better. If the bitterness wouldn't have been there, it would have been a few points higher in my scoring, but the bitterness was there. The bitterness, is what is really the killer on this cigar, in my opinion. So if I had to score it, I would give it an 85. Without the bitterness, I probably would have given it an 88. 85 is probably the lowest score that I would go on a cigar and say I probably would maybe smoke it again. Also, I will note, this is the first of this, this is the first one of these that I've smoked. Sometimes after you smoke a cigar two, three times, it's better, it gets better. Your first experience was, was just, you know, was an anomaly or something. So I bought five, that means I got four left. So as spring and summer unwind, and as I smoke through my humidor and I have more of these, we'll see. So overall, I would say this is a cigar that would be good for a beginner because strength wise, it never got beyond medium. It was medium at most. Um, one other note that I forgot to mention is, from a mouthfeel perspective, I would say it had some cream, a little bit of creaminess, but near the end, it started to get dry, and now I'm kind of feeling that, you know, kind of where I need to get something to drink and get that flavor out of my mouth, that's the bitterness. So, I would say it's worth a try, and maybe you'll get one that doesn't have the bitterness. I will say I did look at a few reviews online, and at least one other person also noted the bitterness, <laughs> so maybe my experience was not the exception to the rule. So again, an 85, it's worth a try, especially if you're a beginner, and that's about all I got for you. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Macanudo Cafe Hyde Park in Maduro, and until next time, God bless America.